to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan Swanson. If you are a returning guest, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, and I hope you've checked out my most recent vlog. It's about thrifting in Venice. If you're moving, if we have found you a home or whatever, welcome and congratulations. And you know what? Now the fun starts. You get to move. But don't get overwhelmed with all of these personal belongings that you're looking at. And you're looking around saying, oh my gosh, what do I do with all this stuff? Where do I begin? Take a breath, take a st step back and just reassess and reevaluate your personal belongings. Let me just be the first to say, you don't need to bring all those heavy items with you. Release them and just take the weight off. You don't need to bring all that heavy stuff with you to Florida. You really don't. So really assess your closets, your furnishings, your dishes, from sheets to silverware, just reassess and just bring your near and dear and your necessities. Just a suggestion for you. And you can save on moving costs. I've been keeping up with U-Haul, and today I just checked out from Ohio to Florida, and it's almost $2,000 to rent a decent sized truck. So it's in the thousands now to get these U-Haul and these budget trucks. If you're moving from California to Florida or from New York City, the costs are even higher. So save yourself on moving costs and really reevaluate your personal belongings. Okay, so today in this vlog, I'm going to talk a little bit about, well, for one, how many homes are available right now in Venice and Nokomis, and then I want to tell you about land lease communities, which what this means is these are communities where, yes, it's manufactured and mobile home living. You can buy a very nice manufactured or mobile home for under $50,000, and you can reside near the Gulf of Mexico. Now, keep in mind, there is a cost associated with land lease communities. It's called lot rent. Some people will no way, no how, uh, even consider it. But I'm telling you, if you want to spend less money, and this is just an option, a consideration, if you want to get your feet wet in Venice and you really don't want to rent, well, for one, there's a very few, there's a limited rentals for long term in the area right now. So if you haven't considered it, consider a mobile or a manufactured home because you can find a very fine home for under fifty thousand, under seventy five thousand, under a hundred thousand. You can spend more than that if you like but if you want to own personal property and you want a nice home you can spend less than fifty thousand to get one okay now lot rent land lease this is what you pay each month when you don't own the land okay so you don't own the land so you're going to pay you're going to write a check you're going to put it on your card it's going to be automatically de automatically deducted from your bank account and some of these communities can be from 325 to 350 dollars a month up to $1,100 a month currently since January has now come into effect. And don't let anybody tell you anything different. Generally, your lot rent will increase each year. Now granted, some of these $1,100 a month lot rent and land leases belong to very large resort communities, which means you can use all of these wonderful amenities and you don't have to maintain them. How nice is that? So if you want a pool home, now you can get a pool home for under $50,000 and you don't have to maintain that pool. You also don't have to maintain your lawn because in some of these resort communities, there's lawn care included in your land rent. So another perk to living inside of a land lease or lot rent situation, okay? And for the fact that you're gonna have a wide array, a wide variety of homes to choose from and all different price points. So let's say for real estate sake, you look at real estate and you're looking at single family homes. Okay, so I'm on realtor.com right now. How many single family homes are available between 100,000 and 200,000 right now in Venice? Let's just see, I'm gonna look at single family homes only. I'm gonna be sure I'm clicking this. There are 17 homes available in Venice between 100 and 200,000 dollars that are single family homes. And some of these are, I see pending banners. So you have 17 in that price point. I'm just going to say for giggle's sake, I'm just going to see if there's anything below $100,000 right now for single family homes in Venice. No, there's not one single family home in Venice that's priced below $100,000. So we're going to bump it back up and we're just going to go to $100,000. Okay, we're gonna go from 10,000 to $50,000 and now we're gonna look in mobile homes. You have 60 
mobile homes available between the prices of $10,000 and $50,000. And a majority of these are going to be in land lease communities, which means you're going to have lot rent. However, keep in the back of your mind, let's just say we're going to take this home, and I know this home, we're going to take this one. This home is, happens to be in the Resort of Bay Indy, so you're going to pay a higher lot rent there of around $1,100 per month. Now, this particular resort community is loaded with amenities. They have bocce. They have pickleball. They have tennis courts. They have their own fitness center. They have three heated pools. They have a walking path around the perimeter of the property that's over three miles around. They are also within two and a half miles to the gorgeous Gulf of Mexico. But inside this particular resort, which is age qualified, 55 plus is what they say. However, someone as young as 40 can be also on that lease. Um, you can buy a home in there for below $20,000. And here's one that's seventeen nine. dollars And this home happens to be on the north end of the community, closer to the Curry Creek, which does lead to the Gulf of Mexico. It's kayak friendly. It's a lot of green space. You have your lawn care included and all of those amenities that you don't have to maintain in this home is less than $20,000. It's a two bedroom, two bath with a carport, with a Florida room that's under air. It also has a screen lanai. It also has laundry and it's furnished for less than $20,000. So even if you pay lot rent each month of $1,100 a month, you're paying less than $14,000 a year for the lot rent added to say 20,000 and now you're at $34,000 for the year for this two bedroom, two bath home. Let's say you live there for 10 years and you're in for even $140,000 in lot rent and you're still paying less than $20,000 for the home. You're not even at $160,000 for a home that is now your personal property investment and you're within two and a half miles to the gorgeous Gulf of Mexico. So before you rule out the manufactured and the mobile home living in a land lease lot rent situation, maybe you should, maybe you should view some of the homes there. And I'm more than happy to help you with that. You're welcome to email me, SusanSwansonVenice at gmail.com. There are so many to choose from. And if you want to bump up the price, let's see what you've got for options. So we're going to go from 51000 and we're going to go to 100000 to see what's available. And you have 21 available in that price range. And some of these are going to be on real estate owned land as well. And there is one, uh, it's called Venice Isles. It's over off of Business 41. They have some homes in there. Now you're gonna pay separate real estate taxes in a real estate owned community. You're gonna pay a possible HOA. Okay, you may not have as many amenities and your price points are definitely going to be higher. This home is dated and it has less square feet. It has 800 square feet of space. It's a two bedroom, two bath. It doesn't have the lanai in the Florida room the other one has. And this home is almost $90,000. The other one is less than 20. Okay. And with that, you're gonna pay separate real estate taxes. And with real estate owned, any real estate that you purchase, you're gonna have higher closing costs. You're gonna have higher sales tax. It's gonna take longer to close and it's a real estate transaction. Now, when you're buying a home inside of a land lease community, lot rent, you're buying personal property, the closing cost is, uh, let's see, about $1,000. Your closing is in less than two weeks. Sometimes it's even faster than that. And your sales tax is 7%, if I'm, maybe not 7 I'm sorry, that's escaping me. No, it's 6% sales tax, I'm sorry, gosh. Brainwave there, okay, so. It's less money to purchase a land lease community mobile or manufactured home. It's less money to close. It's less sales tax, no real estate, no separate real estate taxes each year. So there are a lot of benefits to this particular style of living. And I'll be the first one to admit it's not for everybody. And I completely understand that. And I respect it. But if you want to live near the Gulf of Mexico and you want to spend less than 50,000, less than $20,000, you can. Okay. So it's just an option. Okay. So, Let's just take another home here. Now here's another home. This is over in the 34285 zip code, so you're closer to the island, and I think this is Venice Isles as well. This home is almost $100,000, and it's a single wide, and now with manufactured or mobile homes, with mobiles, it is a single, a double, or a triple, and a mobile home was manufactured prior to 1976. Anything after that is a manufactured home. 
okay but most people consider them mobile homes or MHs so if you see the initials MH for MH Village that's a website that we use to advertise mobile and manufactured homes that's what it stands for so you get singles doubles or triples now generally in Venice you're gonna see singles and doubles very seldom do you see triples but when you do they're very they have a lot of interior space so let's see this little single let's just click on this this one's in Venice 34285 zip code same zip code as the resort of Bay Indies where the home under $20,000 is priced and situated. Now this one is a, let's see, it's a 1973 model and it's almost $100,000. It does have an enclosed Florida room. It doesn't look like it's under air. And this is a single and this home has, let's see, 670 square feet of space. And it's almost $100,000. And you're gonna have real estate taxes and you're gonna have a higher sales tax you're gonna have an HOA and it may not be as efficient as the other double because I know the other double that's inside Bay Indies has a newer AC and it's fully furnished and it's a fine home I've been in there several times myself so let's say you've got one for almost a hundred thousand that's a single wide half the square feet half the space and four times the money okay so just some considerations for you to think about now before I forget if you're looking for a rental home for season or beyond, we have a rental home available and is a Skyline model. It's a 91 Skyline model, and you'll find this particular home down at the Mayaka RV Resort, which is past south of River Road. You're not far from the Gulf, about 15 minutes or so, and you are about 25 minutes, depending on traffic, from the gorgeous Venice Beach. So you're south of River Road, you're really close to Snook Haven, which I, we love Snook Haven. If you've not, if you've not, gone down and visited Snook Haven, you must, because that's where the original Tarzan was filmed, and it is an amazing place, and they've got the greatest catfish there, and you're sitting right on the Mayaka River for outdoor seating. It's very, very, very awesome, and uh, so check that out if you're going to be coming into the area. So this home is not far from there. It's south of River Road, and it is available right now. It's very clean. It's very immaculate inside and out. It has a bedroom with a queen bed. It has a full bathroom with a walk-in shower. It has about 950 square feet of space. It has a full uh, front of the home that's all attached under air with its own twin bed, another half bath, another full hideaway bed, another dining area. And this home has a private deck because it's sitting right on the Mayaka River. So if you like to kayak or fish, perhaps this home would be perfect for you. Susan Swanson Venice at gmail.com. Let me know because that is readily available for you. Now there is an application process and a background check, which there will be no matter which community you choose. Okay, so they're not invading your private life, but they are gonna wanna know where you live, how long have you lived there, do you own, do you rent, what you pay, they wanna be sure that you can afford the land rent, the lot rent, and the home that you're purchasing. So be prepared for that, and it's gonna be no different in a manufactured or a mobile home community than it is if you're buying a villa or a condo, okay? In a villa and a condo there are many of those to choose from so we're always happy to help you in that area as well that's attached living so if that's the kind of lifestyle that you're looking for there are a lot of really sweet villas out there and condos in Venice and the surrounding area and remember a mobile and a manufactured home it's independent dwelling you're not attached to anyone and you have some very fine communities to choose from now, back to the Resort of Bay Indies, before I forget, they're also pet friendly, and when you buy a home in there, you can rent that home to someone when you, you are not using it yourself full time. So that is always a wonderful advantage to buying the personal property inside that resort community. The other communities that are nearby, such as the Venice Municipal Park, you can't rent the home in there, and they are not dog friendly. The same can be said uh, for Venice Ranch. That's east of Bay Indies off of Venice Avenue, closer to the Circle and over closer to 75. And you can't have a dog in there from what their office says. They have a solar heated pool, so not as many amenities, about 400 homes. Um, and then you have the Lake Village, which is in Nokomis, which is a sister property to Bay Indies. You can have a pet in there and they are renter friendly. And that's a lovely 400 home resort community with a heated pool and shuffleboard. And their land rent is there is going to be almost 1,000 to 1,100 because they're owned by Equity Lifestyle Properties, who owns the Resort of Bay Indies. They own more than three or 400 of these communities throughout the U.S. and Canada. And that's, again, why they're the gurus. And so they get the higher land rents. Of course, they're resorts. 
So if you're looking for a rental home, the Mayaka RV Resort, it's south of River Road, so keep that one in the back of your mind, and that could also be a purchase for you, and I do believe the owner's asking less than 60, and it is a very fine home, and you can view the home right here on my channel, and I will link that to this video. So make sure you check that one out. It's an awesome, awesome home. Okay, so back to the real estate end. So here again, you have a single, it's older, and it's almost 100 grand. So you're going to have options. So that was in the price point. And let's just say you have how many of these? You have 21 in that price point for mobile and manufactured homes between $150,000. So there you have it. But if you want to spend below 50, you've got a nice choice. And I know of a handful right now that are under $20,000, under $25,000 that you can choose from. And I have, I know of one, I know of another one that's in the Resort of Bay Indies. And this homeowner is asking less than $25,000, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me. And this is a fine home in a really nice location on the far north end uh, over on the circle. And you have back in that area of the resort, they have their own uh, individual like pool back in there and you're closer to the creek they have their own tennis courts so you're not up in the thick of things near venice avenue you're further back and it's just a, a completely different vibe back in that entity of the resort of bay indies too so i know of a home back in there that's under twenty five thousand, and that would be a fun home to renovate and just spruce it up with more you know 2021 furnishings and check out my videos on thrifting because you can furnish one of these homes for very little money. I've done it several times for several of my homeowners. That's just another service that I individually offer. Um, and these, they turn out really, really nice and it does not take a lot of money. So, you know, when it comes to renovating a mobile or a manufactured home, most of the time, if you can just eradicate, if it's got the middle wall between it's two sides, one space, if it's got that middle wall, you take that out, you have a nice island in there and there you have it. Nice open wide floor plan, uh, it's just, you know, it's 2021, so you can get with the program and just completely uh, renovate the interior spaces, and it's minimal, and it's really fun, and they turn out really, really nice. Uh, so I've been lucky enough to be inside some of these homes and seen before and afters, and they are fabulous. So just another, just another option and something else to think about. Okay, so I'm going to go back into, let me go up. I'm going to go from 101 to 200,000 in the mobile homes and let's see how many are available. There's 26 in that price point. So, and several of these are real estate owned and there's a couple that are in the Resort of Bay Indies that are the new manufactured homes, but most of these are in the real estate owned over near the island, the 34285 zip codes. And this one, for instance, is a two bedroom, two bath. And this one is pending and it was almost $200,000 and it's a mobile home. It's a 1970 mobile home, and it's selling for almost $200,000. When you can buy a newer model inside the resort at Bay Indies for under 50, under 30. So you, there you have it. Even if you're spending the lot rent, even if your lot rent was, even if your lot rent was $1,400 a month, which it's not, it's $1,100 right now, but it will increase each year. But even if it were $1,400. In 10 years, you're spending, what, $168,000, $170,000 in land rent if it were to increase to $1,400. And even if you spend $40,000 for a home, you're still around $200,000. And that's after 10 years. That's if your land rent goes to $1,400. Right here with this $1,970, they're spending almost $200,000 off the get-go. And this, you have real estate taxes, higher closing costs, higher sales tax, HOAs. So, and you have, you know, separate real estate taxes each year. And you're already almost at $200,000 off the get-go. You don't have to spend that kind of money if you don't want to. And, you know, if you're really not quite sure where you want to plant yourself long-term, and, you know, maybe you want a rental investment property, the land lease may be the perfect option for you. So just something to consider, because if you're really not sure, you want to spend two hundred dollars to $350,000 or more, because you're really not sure where you want to be, the land lease communities, they're a great option and an alternative for you. So just think about that. I'm happy to help you either way. I'm Susan Swanson, susanswansonvenice at gmail.com. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you subscribe to my channel and check out my other vlogs. And if there's something that you want to know about in the Venice area, Nokomis or Inglewood, I'm happy to help you and answer your questions. You can just leave a comment. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. 
And remember, if you're selling a home on your own, never show the home alone. Safety in numbers. Have a fit, healthy family member or friend with you at all times. And remember to get the appraisal done before you list your house. Happy day to everybody. Stay safe, stay aware, and stay tuned for more. And I hope you have a great day. And I hope you found some healthy, helpful information from this vlog. Have a great day, everybody.